Marvel Snap Alphabet Challenge Part 5. We've made it through Dex L, but can we make it through the other half of the alphabet? Let's find out. Today we're going to be going through Dex M, N, and O. And while some of them were fantastic, others were not so fantastic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment so you have a chance to be featured in the next video just like Darth Gandalf right here. I promise to keep up the good work and try to keep you guys entertained as possible for this journey that we have on YouTube. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's challenge. So starting off today with the M deck, we actually had a deck that on paper looked decent, but it actually turned out to be dog shit. Actually, it might stand for miraculously dog shit. Believe it or not, this deck actually cost us six losses total. Six. That might be even more than the E deck from like the first video. I don't honestly remember. We lost so many times and my memory is fading. Um, and even the victories that we won, we only got a cube gainage of two from each, which required us to have to keep playing. So it, it was, we had to win twice. So this, we played a total of eight games with this deck. So it just was not that great but I'm pretty sure you guys would love to see a montage of me losing. So here you go. What the hell just happened? Uh, moving on. And it's not enough. Crap. Ah. Uh. Wow, he just sniped me out with Cosmo. He didn't even have to use it. I'm sitting over here thinking so long and all he does is just throw a dog down. Yep. Oh, you know, I saw it coming. You know, I saw it coming. There's like, there was nothing I could do, right? Man. Now, getting into the actual good part of this deck, we won and we were able to leave this deck, um, was actually some pretty decent games, not gonna lie. So I do gotta give it up. Magneto and Morph were both the star players of this deck. Like this deck, I don't think we would have been able to win if we didn't have these, these um, players. Um, first off, the first game we win actually came down to a very good pool from Magneto over to the left lane. We actually managed to pull their Dracula, which didn't even really matter because they Modoc their hand and they didn't have any cards left for Dracula to pull. So we won that game. And the next game actually came down to a Sinister London play with Morph. I took a chance and I, I am a believer in Morph. You never know what your opponent has in their hand. It can be something great, it can be something terrible or it can be something in between. In this case, he had Hulk, and we actually managed to get a double Hulk on Sinister London with Morph right when they laid down a Professor X on, <laughs> on Sinister London. So we managed to take that game, and it was so fantastic. I was so happy, and that game actually gave us the two cubes we needed to get four and get done with this deck. I don't wanna talk about it no more. Let's move on to end, please. So the first game of the end deck actually doesn't count. I swear to God, it doesn't. It was a Shuri game. And I'm just gonna say that, you know, we have to pay the Shuri tax and we have to move forward with our loss. It is whatever, but I'm gonna say it didn't count. So the real first game of the end deck actually went swimmingly. And you know, what happened was it started out with Kiln on the left and we're rushing to fill it up before turn four. And I managed to win that lane by one point, but the next turn, the opponent actually throws out Killmonger, takes out my Nightcrawler, and we're losing by one point at this point. And at this point, I, I don't think that we're gonna be able to make it, right? But chat actually manages to remind me that we have Silver Surfer in my hand, and we're able to buff that kill lane to take it by one point uh, yet again. And that was awesome. I gotta give a shout out to chat, because I didn't see the play, and they managed to actually help me take this game. The last deck, oh, actually ended up being the best deck so far tonight. And it was actually pretty funny. Me and my opponent end up having somewhat of a goblin war and they end up losing big time. And pretty much what happened is 
Jotunheim's over on the left. I have Green Goblin. I decide to toss Green Goblin over there, start racking up some negative points. And as he's growing, my opponent decides, you know what? I'm gonna give Loopy a taste of his own medicine. Drops a Hobgoblin over on the right. The only thing is that they failed to realize that in my hand, I had the All Father himself, Odin. And we were able to reflect the Hobgoblin with Odin and everything was great. It was, it was like 16 points of power heading over to that side of the field that he was not expecting. And it just all worked out in my favor. I think it was a big brain play, an ultra big brain play that I was not even aware that I was capable of doing. Quite honest with you, uh, that's fine. Anyways, we managed to win it. We got eight cubes and we were done for the day. That was fantastic. We can move on to the next part of the challenge. Finally. Hey Loop Troop, Loopy Fizz here. Just want to say thanks for watching today's video. If you really enjoy what went down today, be sure to click my face right here so you guys can subscribe to my channel. Or if you can't wait and you want to get some more Marvel Snap content, click this right here and you'll be injected into more Snap content from me, your boy, Loopy. Thank you.